Hello everyone, and welcome to this uh, new instruction video for W3Arena.net. My name is Deathwing, and I am one of the f uh, founding fathers of W3Arena.net. And I'm here to show you how to get started. First of all, you go to W3Arena.net, and you select your game, Reign of Chaos or The Frozen Throne. Now, we will click on The Frozen Throne. <clears throat> you see you can log in here on the web page, but we don't have a username yet. First thing you have to do is click on the download client button. The client will start downloading, so you either start it or save it onto your computer somewhere. Well, I've already done this and it doesn't really matter where you locate it, so I've put it in my download folder. Next thing is running it. Just pressing next, and you'll see the path of where it should install. Now I'm just going to put it on my D in W3 Arena. And I'm going to press install. Now the program will simply install the client for W3 Arena. Um, which also has the neat anti-hacking system implemented and you will require this client to get on TW3Arena.net server. About the website. As you can see we have some um, replays posted from the server on the front page. We have the news and we have the live ladder 101. It is uh, the top 20, uh, 15, excuse me there, from the top gamers of the one versus one solo. We also have a community page. Oh, I have to accept this. With a forum on which you can talk with people about a lot of stuff, including uh, reporting uh, hackers, tournaments, live streams, etc. We have the ladder page where we can see the entire ladder for one versus one, two versus two random team and 2 versus 2 range team. <clears throat> On the right you can see available streams and you can donate W3 Arena to support us. Meanwhile the client is finished and voila it showed up on my desktop. I will run the client and it says an update is available. I'm gonna click OK the update will just be installing right now and it'll be done really soon. There it goes, update done successfully. Now, on the client, you will see a, a several kind of options. You can just decide which game to play, Ring of Chaos or the Frozen Throne. You can choose to start it in window modes and in the advanced settings. You could even enable OpenGL mode. Now, on W3Arena.net we can ban people. We can ban you completely. We can ban um, for playing random team, playing range team, or playing solo. You can see that my status is okay on everything so I'm not banned for anything at all. This might happen if you cheat or uh, team kill in random team or whatever and people report you. Now there's the ping state. We have host bots in Europe and host bots in the United States and the system will select the best possible bot for you and your opponent in uh, each game. There is also a little place where we will update you with recent news. Now I'm gonna start the game, press join the battle, the game will open. You can see W3 Arena has already been selected as the main gateway. We're going to connect. You see my account is already there, but I'm just going to show you by creating a new one how it goes. Just creating a nickname here. It says alright. Now you can enter your email here, but I won't do this right now. You will receive updates on, uh, for example, whenever you received a private message on the forum and such amount of users online at the moment. Then when you will enter you will come into the main channel for the frozen throne. 
tft.w3arena.net. Now here I am in the channel and you can obviously like on Battle.net, earn icons. You can also play games, ladder games. <coughs> if we plus play game, you can see there is only one map in the map pool. Do not veto it. You can simply pick the race here and the gaming type. Same goes for 2 vs 2, do not veto. Now, before we're going to do this, I'm going to go to the website. I'm going to log in. Test user for VOD and my password. I'm going to log in. And you can see several things. I can set ladder maps and set a range team race. Now, I'm going to set ladder maps first. We can choose 1 versus 1 and 2 versus 2, a range team and a random. Now, I could simply veto some maps here, and that can be up to 5. For 2 vs 2 range team, I can do the same. I can simply veto down any maps I wouldn't like. These map pools for 2 vs 2 random team or range team are the same map pool. For range team though, we can't make it so that you can pick the race on Battle.net, so you'll have to pick it on the website. That's all you need to do, now it's set. Now, you're ready to start playing the game. As I mentioned before, all you have to do is go here, select your race, select the gaming type, press play game, and the system will start searching. Whenever it finds a game, you will automatically be joined into the custom game screen and here it will say ladder game. It will most of the time automatically join, sometimes it can still be a bit buggy and you just double click the game, it will join automatically and the game will be started. Furthermore, we also have user profiles. You can easily see that by going to your profile and voila, you can see right there, player name, wins, losses, experience, and the total stats. If you have a problem just uh, finding out anything else, just press this button over here and the tutorial will start again. Well that's basically it, and now you're ready to start playing on our private Warcraft 3 server. I wish you a lot of fun, and uh... Good luck laddering.